Hello, everybody. So, I don't know if any of you have this. This is the Ultimate. It's not the Ultimate Pro. And I'm not real sure what the difference is. But this is just the Ultimate. I've got some extra boards in here um, for boxes. And like that looks like a popcorn box. So, um, I don't have a boxer thing. It comes with all this stuff that you can, um, use when you're crafting. And then here it has, there's it's supposed to be a paper cutter. Um, I can't say that I've had good luck with it. Maybe we'll try it. I don't know. But what I really want to do is use the bow maker. I thought we could see I got a USB thing. And not a USB, it's a disc. But I don't know that anybody uses those anymore. I don't know where my things are that hold it closed either. And where do these go here? Okay. I just want to make some bows. This is for the Envelo box. Okay. But that's not what I want to do. I want to do easy. Let's see if we can find the bow maker and how we should be making these bows. Bow making. Okay. We'll find the pegs. They're designed to be positioned. Okay, position them at various intervals. The width of your ribbon and the desired size of bow will determine how far apart you position the peg. The wider the ribbon, the farther apart you need the pegs. Position the two pegs. I do have three of them. At your desired width. I'm going to go with these two. That looks like that's going to make a pretty good size bow. Let me grab some ribbon. Oh. Ah, the spool just kept going. I pulled ribbon out and the spool just kept going. Okay. Position the two pegs at your desired width apart and wrap the ribbon around them. Okay, so like this. And I guess I want it pretty even. Crossed the left piece over top of the right piece. Take the top piece underneath and to the right of the second piece. Then take this bottom piece underneath the ribbon which is beneath the pegs. Uh, I guess it's going to go here. Bring it back over the top of the ribbon. That it. No, no, I did something wrong. Okay, so we're like this. And we're going to cross this one under, this one over. Take the top piece underneath and to the right of the second piece. That gives us this little thing. Then take this bottom piece. which is between the pegs. Bring it back over 
the ribbon tie a knot tie a knot to hold the bow in place then slide it off the pegs okay <clears throat> there we go it worked that's good that's way too much ribbon <coughs> so I'm gonna try to undo it and then do it over with not so much ribbon so I know I can at least go half <laughs> That's all it shows is a basic ribbon. But supposedly, it's very easy to do the other ones. I don't know. Okay, so this is going to go under. And over and then again and then I'm going to take this bottom piece between these two and then I'm going to tie the knot Okay. And there it is. And it does not budge. It does not budge. So if you want a bigger bow, you're going to have to make it bigger. I'm going to um Let's see how big of a bow do we want to go? How about... Between these two. Let's see how big of a bow that makes. I do think I'm still going to have extra ribbon. So I'm going to cut it there and let's see. So it's going to go over and then over and then this goes around and then we're gonna tie a knot and There we go. Um, gosh, it doesn't really seem that much bigger, does it? But it's it's bigger. Not by a lot. Imagine that teeny tiny bow. Okay. That is pretty quick and easy, though. And you don't have to worry about thought I would try some really skinny, but I don't have any that's opened of it there. Let's try some really small. Okay, under, over, and then this one goes around. Gotta have something to push it through with. 
so my finger doesn't want to fit in there. Oh, that's going to be a tiny one. I don't know if I can even tie this. It is so small. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. Boy, baby's having a fit up there, huh? That is a tiny, tiny bow, but you know what? With this ribbon being made out of what it's made out of, and it looks good. Um, I don't know if I can burn this or if this is the stuff that catches fire, so let's see what happens. I don't like the way that one burnt. But there's that little bow. And it's just cute as can be. I'm just trying to singe. This is definitely not the best lighter in the world but <sighs> Ooh. at least as long as it keeps it until I'm ready to use it then I can make it the length I want it to be and then reseal it back up sometimes I just like to put glue on the tip and sometimes that will work. Now, I don't usually use the bow maker as a matter of fact. I don't know if I've ever used that bow maker. And so I'll just show you. I usually do the rabbit in the hole, right? Two ears. Make your rabbit that's two ears. One ear, two ear. And he needs to go around and in the hole. Which brings him here. It's a little bit difficult with this stuff. An ear, an ear. They go around, put the rabbit in the hole, and then he comes out, right? And that's usually my neighbor just got their delivery. <laughs> This is how I make my bows. Now I gotta bring it out because I had to kind of fold it to get it in the hole, right? Uh, I just want to show it to you done. Okay, and then I would do the same for this one. Bring it out. I don't, like I said, I don't usually fold it, so I don't usually have to do this part. So there's my bow. And 
I think it's a decent bow. I don't have any complaints with it. The only problem is it moves, right? So you can tighten it. But when you tighten it, it might not be even. You know, this might need to go. But what I would do a lot of times is go ahead, do my bow, and then if it gets too loose in here, I hold these and just pull that, and that will tighten it. So there's my bow. And I guess these are a little bit better. You know, your your behind ribbon, the tail, is a little bit more behind. But I'm not going to undo that because that's still a good bow. So I'm going to keep it. So... There we go, bows. And I'm just gonna make up a bunch of bows and I'm gonna keep them in one of my little drawers here. And then whenever I need a bow, I can just reach in and grab it. All right, um, so if you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you join me again. God bless.